let's talk about prevention law. As the chapter 1 preliminary provision of section 1 entitled Cybercrime Prevention Act 2012 or officially recorded as our public act number 10175, it is a law in the Philippines approval on September 12, 2012. It was introduced by Senator Edgardo Angara in the Senate of the Philippines and was introduced by Governor Susanya in the House of Representatives of the Philippines. But I'll reduce us into aims to penalize the translator of the Cybercrime Prevention Act. Republic Act Number 1017, an act defining cybercrime providing for that preventions, investigations, suppression, and the imposition of penalties, therefore, and for other purposes. It was enacted by the Senate and House of Representatives of the Philippines in Congress as a well. Sorry for the background noises. So let's proceed. Section 2 of Chapter 1, Preliminary Provisions, Declaration of Policy. The state recognized the vital rule of information and a communication industry such as content production, telecommunications, broadcasting, electronic commerce, and data processing in the nation's overall social and economic development. It also recognized the importance of providing an environment conducive to development, acceleration, and national application and exploitation of information and communication technology, or ICT, to attain free, easy, and intelligible access to exchange and delivery, delivery of information. Section 3, Definition of Terms. This prevention acts harbor as follows. Access refers to the instruction, communication, storing data in, retrieving data, form or otherwise making of any resources of a computer system or communication network. This refers to the modification or change in form of or substance of an existent computer data or program. As chapter 2, Punishable Acts. Section 4, Cybercrime Offenses. The following acts constitute the offenses of cybercrime punishable act. Offenses against the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of computer, data, and systems. Illegal access. This access to the wall or any part of a computer system without right. Illegal interception. The interception made by technical means without right or any non-public transmission of computer data to form or within computer system, including electromagnetic emissions from a computer system carrying such computer data. Data interference. The intentional or reckless alteration damaging deletion or deterioration of computer data, electronic document, or electronic data message with a right, including the introduction or transmission of viruses. System interference. The intentional alteration or reckless hindering or interference with the functioning of a computer or a computer network by inputting transmitting, damaging, deleting, deteriorating, altering, or suppressing computer data or program, the introduction of tra or transmission of viruses. The use of devices. The use, production, sale, procurement, importation, distribution, or otherwise making available without right. A device include including a computer program, a computer password, access code, or similar data by which the whole or any part of a computer system is capable of being accessed with intent that it 
be used for the purpose of committing of the committing any of the offenses under this act. Cyber squatting. The acquisition of a domain name over the internet in bad faith to profit, mislead, destroy repetition, and deprive others from registering the same if such a domain name is similar, identical, or confusingly similar to an existing trademark registered with the appropriate government agency at the time of the domain name registration identical or any way similar with the name of a person already than the registrant in case of a personal name acquired without right or with intellectual property interest in it computer related offenses computer related forgery the input alteration or deletion of any computer data without right and so resulting in authentic data computer related fraud the un the unauthorized input alteration or deletion of computer data or program or interference in the functioning of a computer system causing damage thereof with fraudulent intent provided that if no damage has yet been caused the penalty impossible shall be one degree lower. Computer-related identity thief. The intentional acquisition, use, reuse, transfer, possession, alteration, or deletion of identifying information belonging to one another, whether natural, whether natural or juridical, without right. Content-related offenses. Cyber sex involves using the internet of sexual purposes like sexual activity performed by means of virtual reality equipment, exchanging of sexual message or information via the internet. Child pornography. It is pornography that exploits children for sexual stimulation unsolicited commercial communication the use of computer system which seek to advertise sell or offer for sale product and services are prohibited unless there is prior affirmative consent from the receipt or the primary intent of the communication is for service and administrative announcement from the sender to its existing uses, subscribers, or customers. The following conditions are present. The commercial electronic communication contains simple, valid, and reliable ways for a recipient to reject, recept to further commercial electronic messages from the, from the same source, libel. This involves a, in publishing a statement about someone through any medium like the internet, status, untrue, or without any basis, a statement that can damage someone's reputation and well-being. Okay. Section 5. Other Offenses Aiding or abetting in the commission of cybercrime attempt in the commission of cybercrime all crimes defined and penalized by the revised penal code as amended by and special laws if committed by shall be covered by the relevant provisions of this act section 6 all crimes defined and penalized by the revised penal code as amended and special laws if committed by through and with the use of information and communications technologies shall be covered by the relevant provisions of this act. Section 7, liability under other laws. The first draft started in 2001 and is illegal effective affinity burden set, which is the forerunner of the commission or information and communication signals. It was headed by former Secretary Verhelyu Pinya 
and the committee was chaired by Attorney Carlo Parlet. Chapter 8 Penalties Section 8 Penalties Any person found guilty of any fashionable acts shall be punished with imprisonment of prison mayor or a fine at least 200,000 to 500,000 pesos up to maximum amount consumery to the damage incurred or both if punishable acts in section 4 are committed against article infrastructural the penalty of reclusion temporal or a fine of at least 500,000 pesos up to maximum amount commensurate to the damage incurred or both shall be imposed. Section 9. Corporate Liability The liability imposed on the juridical person shall be without prejudice to the criminal liability of the natural person who has committed the offense. For a fine equivalent to at least double defines impossible in section 7 up to a maximum of 10 million to 5 million pesos. Chapter 4. Enforcement and Implementation. A section 10 law enforcement authorities. The NBI and PNP shall organize a cyber crime unit or center month by special investigators to exclusively handle cases involving violation of this act. Section 11. Duties of law enforcement authorities. To ensure the technical nature of cybercrime and its prevention is given focus and considering the procedures involved for international cooperation. Law enforcement authorities are required to submit timely and regular reports including pre-operation, post-operation, and investigation results such as document as may be required to the Department of Justice for review and monitoring. Section 12, Real-Time Collection of Traffic Data Traffic data refer only to the con communication, destruction, road, time, date, duration, or type of underlying service, not content nor identities. Section 13. Preservation of computer data. The integrity of data and subscriber information shall be preserved for a minimum period of six months from the date of the transaction content data similarly preserved for six months from the date of receipt of the order from law enforcement authorities requiring its preservation. Section 14. Disclosure of computer data. Law enforcement authorities upon securing a court warrant of any person or service provider to disclose or submit subscribers' information, traffic data, or relevant data in its possession or control within 72 hours from receipt to a valid complaint officially ducted and assigned for investigation and the disclosure is necessary and relevant for the purpose purpose of this of investigation sessions 15 search seizure and examination of computer data within the time periods specified in the warrant to conduct interception to secure a computer system or computer data storage medium to, com to make and retain a copy of the request for an extension of time to complete the examination of the computer data storage medium and to make a return path in no case 
for a period longer than 30 days from date of approval by the court. Section 16, Custody of Computer Data Under a proper warrant within 48 hours after the expiration of expiration the card in a sealed package shall be accompanied by the, by an affidavit of the law enforcement authority who may access the deposit should not be open or recordings replayed or used in evidence the, then contents revealed except the order of this act of this court rather section 17 destruction of computer data the separation of the period in section 13 and 15 the law enforcement authorities should immediately and completely destroy the computer data subject and preservation and examination section 18 exclusionary rule any evidence procured without invalid warrant or beyond authority should be in inadmissible before any court or tribunal section 19 restricting or blocking access to computer data when a computer data is prima facie found in violation of the provision of this act the department of justice should issue an order to restrict or block a computer data Section 20, Non-Compliance Failure to comply the, the provisions the law enforcement authorities shall be punished as a violation of Presidential Decree Number 1829 with imprisonment of prison correctional or a fine of 100,000 pesos. As Chapter 5, Jurisdiction Section 21. Jurisdiction. The du jurisdiction of any violation of the provision of this act, any violation committed by a Filipino national of the place or commissions. There should be designated special cyber crime courts manned by specially trained judges to handle cyber crimes cases. Chapter 6 international cooperation a section 22 general principles relating to inter international cooperation all relevant international instruments on international cooperation in criminal matters for the purpose of investigations concerning criminal offenses related to computer system and data shall be given full force and effect Chapter 7, Competent Authorities Session 23, Department of Justice or D or J The Office of Cybercrime designated as the central authority in all matters related to international mutual assistance and extradition. Session 24, Cybercrime Investigation and coordinating center within 30 days from effectivity of this act an interagency body to be known as the cyber crime investigation and coordinating center the administrative provisions of the office of the president among concert agencies for the formulation and enforcement of the national cyber Security Plan Section 25 Composition The Cybercrime Investigation Coordinating Center headed by the Executive Director of the Information and Communication Technology Office under Department of Science and Technology as Chairperson with the Director of the NBI as Vice Chairperson the Chief of the PNP head of the Department of Justice Office of Cybercrime and one representatives 
from the private sector as members. Session 26, Powers and Functions. The Cybercrime Investigation and Coordinating Center have powers and functions to formulate the National Cybersecurity Plan and extend immediate, immediate assistance for the suppression of real-time commission of cybercrime offenses through a computer emergency response team to, meet, to monitor cybercrime cases by participating law enforcement, prevention, and suppression, including capacity building and such other function and duties. Chapter 8, Final Provisions. Section 27, Appropriations. 50 million pieces shall be appropriated annually for the implementation of this act. Session 28, Implementing Rules and Regulations The Information and Communication Technology under Department of Science and Technology and Department of Justice and the Department of the Interior and Local Government or DILG jointly formulate the rules and regulations within 90 days from approval of this act. Section 29. Separability Clause. Any provision of this Act is invalid and other provisions not affected but remain in full force and effect. Section 30. Repelling Clause. All laws, decrees, rules with this Act are repelled or modified accordingly of the Republic Act Number 8. 792 of Section 33 or the Re Electronic Commerce Act are modified accordingly. Section 31 Effectivity This Act take effect 15 days after completion of its publication in the official gazette at least two newspapers of general circulation. What is this spell all about? It is an act defining cybercrime providing in the prevention, investigation, suppression, and implementation of penalties, therefore, and for other purposes. Among the cybercrime effects, as stated in this bill, are cyber, cyber spotting, cyber sex, child pornography, identity thief, illegal access of data, and libel. What is legal online activities? It's sometimes happening around the internet, but we need this to film to stop and let us make our cyber world safe and clean. The Cybercrime Prevention Act ultimately was the product of House Bill Number 5808, authored by Representatives Susania on the Second District of Tarla and 36 other co-authors and Senate Bill No. 2796 proposed by Senator Edgardo Angara. Both bills were passed by their respective chambers within one day of each other of on June 5 and 4, 2012 respectively. Shortly after, this, after his impeachment of Renato Corona and the final version of the Act was signed into law by President Benigno Aquino III on September 12. Any person found guilty of any of the punishable acts shall be punished with imprisonment and at least 50,000 pesos. The NBI and PNP Nation organized a cybercrime minute to exclusively handle cases involving violations and this act there is also a size and disclose will require what are some examples of implementing this law Arwin NBI awaits cyber sex dance in the Novota city in 2014 stealing of original work and we 
And when you have an online client, we do not pay you looking reported. But, and yet, this is a very broad than ever the U.S. where the internet came from. Could not even catch an internet private. So I believe that this law still needs to be harmed, harmed down more and maybe someday we will have a strong internet law that everyone can follow this issue is also quite controversial because of the freedom of speech and freedom of information that during the bill's process anonymous Philippines have the government insights multiple times in the end i think that we should consider the internet as the three knowledge of good and evil and at the same time we should all see that all people using the internet are still humans so how do we need these people personally we should also do the same online or digitally and that's all see you next topic